Mathematics was your optional subject, right? Uh, is there a Nobel Prize in mathematics? So, which prizes are there awarded? Uh, Nobel Prizes? Uh, there is a Fields Medal, Nobel Prize is also there. So, who received a Fields Medal last recipient? Uh, sir, I don't remember the last recipient, but I remember the, uh, the Indian recipient who received it recently. Some Iranian meeting? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Mariam uh, Mirza Khani. Mm -hmm. And Abel Price? Sorry. Who has instituted which country? What qualities do you possess which will make you a good citizen? Sir, I am objective while uh, making my decisions and uh, I am honest whatever is there is there. And uh, I believe uh, in the constitution and I am willing to uphold it in all the, uh, in all circumstances. Good. What is the Digital India program? Sir, a uh, Digital India program uh, aims to uh, make uh, the economy more digital, as in uh, people would more uh, use the di uh, digital devices more so as to improve the delivery of government services. So one of its major thrusts is in the rural areas. Yes, sir. What is that program and uh, how, what government proposes to do to connect the villages? Sir, it is a Bharat program mm -hmm. and uh, the government is proposing to provide broadband access to 2.5 lakh gram of child mm -hmm. under the Bharat program. Good. You know how much has been done already? Sir, about one lakh have been done. Second phase started in November. Yes. 1.7. Now, do you know what is Sobhagya scheme? Sir, so, uh, by the Sobhagya scheme, uh, scheme, the government proposes to uh, electrify all the households. All the houses. Four crores. Sorry, sir. Uh, four crores. You can't uh, have 1.3 billion. Yes, sir. So, how much money it is allocated in this budget? Around 16,000 Very good, so about 16,000. Uh, is there a limit to freedom of speech and expression? Yes, sir, there is. Uh, the Constitution has provided for reasonable restrictions on the freedom of speech and expression. Uh, for that, uh, the law and order should be maintained, public morality should be upheld, contempt of court is also there. And uh, there was a controversy with respect to sedition. Yes. What was the controversy? Sorry, sir, I am not able to recall the exact controversy with respect to sedition. Okay. Uh, this, uh, you uh, remember what is, there was judgment on Tripal Tala. Yes, sir. What was the judgment? So, by the Tripal Tala judgment, the Supreme Court uh, has uh, made Tripal Tala as void, uh, as if the uh, Muslim husbands will not be able to pronounce Tripal Tala. And it was their And subsequently, there was a law yes. uh, to uh, uh, criminalize people. What are your views on okay? that? There was controversy. Yes, sir. Uh, the controversy was on the criminal aspect of the law. Uh, we, uh, everyone was saying that uh, the, the, it, it was that. What do you uh, believe? Like, should this act be criminalized? Sir, I think marriage and divorce are civil subjects. So uh, there should not be any criminal aspect to it. Rather than uh, criminalizing it, uh, the government can provide some alternate dispute resolution mechanisms, like uh, provide for reconciliation between the husband and wife, so that uh, this situation can be avoided. So, uh, this are you? T do you think uh, we are moving towards uniform civil court? Sir, uh, as of now, I don't think that we are moving towards uniform civil code. But, uh, but uh, if we remove the gender, uh, uh, the gender discriminatory aspect of from all the personal laws, then that will be. We will move towards uniformity if we remove those things. Sir, under uniform civil code, there will be a, a single uh, set of laws that will apply to all the religions, uh, to all the religions regarding the civil aspects. But the people from those Do we have a law of that sort in India? Uh, sir, it is the Hindu Marriage Act, is there. 
that, that Hindu is that marriage act doesn't apply to all? No, sir, it applies to uh, Hindus, Sikhs, uh, and it is such. Special marriage act? Uh, sorry, sir, I'm not aware. You're not aware of this. Okay. Now, uh, this, this Aadhaar case was is there in the Supreme Court. What are the legal and constitutional issues uh, that the Supreme Court is? Uh, so the major issue that the Supreme Court is looking into is the privacy aspect. Uh, the petition is that uh, the Aadhaar uh, will uh, infringe the right to privacy. Okay, I got you. Now, uh, this post Nirvaya, there were a number of amendments in law. Uh, can you recall some? Thank you, all, sir. Law no, regarding women. So, yes, I am not able to recall the exact amendments. Okay, do you uh, recall the amendment to the Juvenile Justice Act? Yes, sir. What was that? Sir, earlier in, under the Juvenile Justice Act, a uh, juvenile was treated, uh, a person up to the age of 18 years was treated as a juvenile. Later, it uh, was reduced to 16 years. No, it's not uh, for all. Uh, for uh, only for here in the Certain offenses. Here in the Okay, thank you. Here is Swimma. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. sir. So, and how are we doing on the international feed? Uh, Ma'am, I think uh, we, there needs to be more trust in the international field. Uh, so why, why don't we feature any of them? Ma'am, because there are many reasons to do it. One is the lack of infrastructure, mm -hmm. as in there are only a few places where we have proper student tools. Then there is a lack of support from the government also. And uh, then there are, uh, we don't have enough role models to follow. True. And no sponsorships. Like cricket, where everyone gets a sponsor. Now you play tennis, so Roger Federer was going to lose. Why? Ma'am, uh, recently Roger Federer has reclaimed his world number one title. He's mm -hmm. the only oldest tennis player to be a world number one. Yes. Now you study, I find this very interesting. You studied in Ranchi, Dehradun, Rajasthan, and you also opted for uh, Karnataka. Yes, ma'am. Why? How did you study in so many different institutions and now why do you want to offer for United States? Uh, Ma'am, uh, my father is in the Indian Forest Service and because of the transfer to the nature of the job, mm -hmm. I studied in these places. Mm -hmm. My college was uh, with Spilani, it's in Rajasthan. Mm -hmm. And I worked in uh, Sandus, that was in Bangalore. So, uh, I like work culture there, so I wanted to work for You worked as a verification engineer. What was this work that you did? Ma'am, uh, Sandisk is a, a memory design uh, company. So I was uh, so whatever memory that we design for all the products, it has to be verified before it goes uh, into production. So uh, I did that work. Can you tell me something about artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is a way when uh, where the machines will become uh, intelligent themselves. They can reprogram their uh, algorithms in such a way so that they can solve more complex uh, problems. Okay. Now coming back to UP, that's your state? Yes. All right. Now, uh, beef ban, how has it impacted the farmers of the Ma'am, there, uh, there are many unproductive cows mm -hmm. and uh, so the farmers who want to get rid of those cows are not able to uh, sell those cows. Uh, so it has impacted them negatively. How? Because they are not uh, Revenue, they don't get their money, so yes. they have to feed them. They are already poor farmers, they don't have money for feeding themselves, so they leave them on the streets and then these cows will spoil the crops. Yes. So it's uh, impacted everyone. Have you heard of the interlinking of rivers concept? Yes. Tell me something about this. Ma'am, inter uh, in the interlinking of rivers, mm -hmm. uh, the water will be uh, provided from the surplus area to the deficit area. Mm -hmm. So that uh, irrigation and drinking water problems can be uh, So what are your ideas about the interlinking of I think interlinking of rivers is a good concept mm -hmm. uh, because it allows uh, proper distribution of water. However, there are many ecological problems that can arise out of it. What are these problems? Uh, Ma'am, uh, uh, as per uh, the climatology of India, uh, all the rivers uh, have their ups and downs at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this can lead to more water disputes among the states which are sharing the rivers. Anything else? The massive costs of lifting the rivers from the north moving them over the plateau to the south. 
a lot of electricity will be also required for that. Not just electricity, just think of your cost. That is really economically viable to have this uh, internet computers if we are trying to visit the rich universe, other than all the factors that you talked about. Okay. Social media, is it changing our society? Yes, ma'am, social media is changing our society. Uh, we are more interconnected to each other in the digital space mm -hmm. than we were before. And uh, it is also acting as a platform for uh, other people to uh, to put forward their views on a variety of things. Is it also negatively impacting us? Yes, ma'am, there are certain followers mm -hmm. to social media. Mm -hmm. uh, we can see among children also that they are putting more of their time towards social media rather than going out and playing. And the dynamics of relationships among people is also changing. So, my last question. The, our diaspora, our Indian community which is abroad, how is it helping us? Or what role do they play? Ma'am, uh, the diaspora that is abroad uh, helps us in, in numerous ways. Firstly, it builds the brand image of the country. Secondly, uh, they, uh, many of the uh, Indian diaspora outside are also in the parliaments or uh, other heads of state of some countries. So it helps uh, India to make, to build better and stronger ties with those countries. And thirdly, they also help us in remittances. So, good. Okay. Demonetization. Was it, uh, is it a case of good economics and, uh, sorry, good politics and bad economics? So good politics, sir. Bad economics. Okay. Some people describe it that way. Sir, I think uh, as per the agenda of the government, the demonetization was a good step, but it may have been done with proper planning and uh, in terms of proper planning, in terms of a, uh, availability of currency. What were the positive outcome of demonetization? Sir, a lot of people came under the tax net because of uh, demonetization. Right. That's, that's something positive. And any other advantage that? Yes sir, uh, trust was uh, made on the digital economy part. More people are using uh, the digital forms of payments now than uh, after the What the original objectives of the So the original objectives were uh, curbing back money uh, and eliminating counterfeit currency and uh, curbing terrorist financing. We are the correct in saying that as far as the original objectives were concerned, the outcome has been marginal. Sorry sir, I don't have enough information. Okay. All right. The other initiative taken by the government is GST. Yes, sir. Uh, what are the glitches of GST? GST implementers. Uh, sir, one of the glitches is the filing uh, procedure. There are uh, three uh, forms that have to be filled, which uh, the vendor is saying that it is a bit cumbersome for them to file because uh, they are not getting input aspect of the. Is it only? Is there a procedural problem or there are some more, some other difficulties? So the technical features of the GST and network is also a, a, a major problem. But what is your take on GST? Is a good concept? Yes. Very positive? Yes, sir, GST. What are the advantages of GST? So uh, GST will uh, unify the Indian market. Uh, it will streamline the tax structure and it will eliminate a cascading of taxes. Okay. Uh, UP. Last number of encounters that you reported. Yes. What's your take on So, last number of encounters is also a way uh, for the government to crack down on the mills because, as you know, the uh, law and order situation is not is bad in uh, the situation. However, whether they are fake or not is up to the inquiry that has uh, been constituted. So, it is up to you. Last question. Democratic dividend. Where are we? Are we in a position to really erect the advantage of the program? Sir, uh, as of now, uh, we have been a bit slow to capitalize on a demographic dividend considering the uh, poor learning outcomes of people and, and the skills gap that is there in the industry. However, uh, the government is putting its uh, thrust behind more outcome oriented uh, education programs and skill development. So, uh, I think in a couple of years, we can capitalize on it. What has been the growth of employment in this country? Sir, I don't remember the exact figure of growth of employment, uh, but uh, there was, but recently I think around 64,000 uh, 
that has been reported today. Yes. That has been that is based on a survey conducted maybe like a yes, but in a country like India, that's very impossible. This number is too small. Yes, sir, but it is only for the April to June duration, only for three yeah, months. Yes, Thank you. Right. What is the uh, Human Development Index of UP? You're from UP? Yes, sir. Yeah, among the states. Uh, sir, I would ask the mother now. Yeah. Sir, so <clears> I think it is 18. 18. 21. Okay, sir. It's at the rock bottom. What is the GDP growth rate? Sir, I don't, Average. I don't know the exact uh, percentage. What uh, the constitution principle was affirmed by Supreme Court in the Padmavat case. Sir, the Supreme Court upheld the right the freedom of speech and expression. Very good. That's an, in the privacy case, what principle Supreme Court laid down? What constitution? What is the constitutional significance of this? Sir, the Supreme Court said that the, privacy, uh, that the right to privacy is intrinsic to many fundamental rights. It is also. Yes, you are right. Except that right, privacy is a fundamental right. It is listed privacy as a fundamental right. That is the most important. Which means it is justiciable. Yes. In Kharpanchayat case, what is the Supreme Court observation? The case is still pending in the court, but twice it has made some very important. Uh, sir, the last observation that the Supreme Court uh, made was that uh, if two consenting adults want to marry, then uh, such carpenters should not interfere. Should not interfere. So its activities are illegal. Yes. All these activities which it is committing are illegal. On reservation, which is a landmark judgment of the Supreme Court. Sir, it's the interesting judgment. Very good. There are three developmental schemes which the government of India has launched. Each begins with letter U. Identify those three schemes. So one is Udan. Good. Uh, other one is Ujwala Yojana. Ujwala. I think the third one is Ujala. Ujala. Very good. You got it. What is Ujala for? Sir, so Ujala is providing LED. Uh, LED. Mm -hmm. Is the financial inclusion real in India now? Or it is still a fantasy? Uh, sir, financial inclusion. If we look, at, uh, if we look at the aspect of opening bank accounts, then in that aspect, mm -hmm. financial inclusion is real. It's real. But how many accounts have been opened? Any idea? Sorry, sir, I'm. I'm. Thirty-one. Thirty-one crores. Yes, it is. Also, there is another scheme for financial inclusion. Jan. Jan. DBT. DBT is what. So these are the two and financial inclusion has progressed a lot. Now, why do we need smart cities? We are the source of talk building a smart city. What is the need? Uh, so smart cities is an ecosystem based approach. Uh, urbanization in India has been uh, very haphazard and unplanned. Yes. So smart cities is a way to streamline uh, urbanization in okay. India. Okay, so planned development. That yes. is one. There is something even more serious, a development, why we need smart cities. All right, we close it. The reason is that World Bank says that by 2050, our population in the urban city areas will be 850 million people. Where do you keep all services will break down? So the inexorable exodus from the rural areas into city areas, you need to plan for cities now. So there are two schemes. One is the smart city, another is uh -huh. uh -huh. renewal scheme. How many cities will it uh, uh, cover? So the 500. 500. Very good. Excellent. So we close your interview. I'll give you a little feedback. Uh, Mishivasi, you've done very well. You have been able to answer most of the questions. You have very impressive bio data. You, are, you have been a lawn tennis champion. Mm -hmm. yes. So it will stand in your favor. And uh, so, uh, a few tips I like to give you. One is about 
Uttar Pradesh, you must have a lot of data. It's a GDP growth, it's human capital development indices. Two indices have been published recently by one by you know, uh, what is called a National Family Health Index number four. And Niti Ayog has given an index on health. This both have come out last month. Read both and then where in the UP is placed in the national. They can ask you about India's human development. We are at 131 out of 188. Mm -hmm. What are the parameters for this? So, and then economic growth. It's such a big state, but economic growth is faltering. What is the reason? Then, burning issues of your way of UP, like uh, encounters, it's a very controversial issue. And neither say defend it nor criticize it. You must say, if it is a fake encounter, it is absolutely wrong, illegal. But if it is a genuine encounter in the sense that if the culprits have opened fire and police in return, that's fine, then it is justified. Only leave it at that. If they say, what do you say about it? You say, I have only read in the papers. But my assessment is this, that we must follow the law of the land. Mathematics, you will be asked some questions. I don't have much knowledge of mathematics, therefore I could ask myself to my business. But suppose they ask you who are the great uh, mathematicians in the world or in India, what are their theories? Yes. Refresh your knowledge. Third is instrument and electronics. Computer literacy in India, computer crime. And check the National Crime Reports Bureau reports. What is the government of India doing to control it? Lately, some uh, steps have been taken. So you go to internet, you will find a prepared about half a page of this. Okay. And also, we are going to join the Budapest Convention. You know Budapest Convention of 2004? Yes, sir. Huh? Check up that is on computer crime. Yes. In Budapest Convention 2004. Yes, we, we are going to join a short list. Now, quality is absolutely correct. Say the basic qualities of leadership that is, <coughs> honesty, diligence, professional competence, moral courage, adherence to rule of law, and readiness to handle crisis. These are the basic qualities of a leader. So, use these words. Bharatnet, etc. is correct, Sobhakya. Think of other important schemes like IGN3, also Swachh Bharat. There are many schemes like Smart City, uh, Swachh Bharat is also there, I, I mentioned. Smart City. Then Bharat, Nirmala, Sagar Mala, read about that. And then important uh, constitutional provisions. We asked you about sedition. Sedition law is 124A IPC. Check up. The Supreme Court has given a ruling that only if it is calculated or intended to incite violence or actually incites violence, then only you can. Otherwise, governments were calling up innocent people under this law. So, Supreme Court ruling was that. Restrictions on freedom of speech, you said the right thing, triple talaq. Criminalization of politics, yes, it is still under. We are moving towards uniform civil court. The Special Marriage Act is one, Supreme Court's ruling on triple talaq is a second step. So these are minor steps, but definitely there is a movement towards uniform civil court. Aadhaar, what are the issues? Today, Aadhaar has been heard in the Supreme Court, so by tomorrow you will get some information. Freedom. In connection with beef plan, food habits of people, how Aadhaar, whether Aadhaar, eh? so is that correct? Privacy. 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 Uh, privacy. 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 Right to privacy, not Aadhaar. Okay. Uh, Post Nirvaya amendments of law, is there a particular juvenile justice act? Make a change this way. Same way, constitutional safeguards for people. Constitutional safeguards for tribals. You said the right thing. And if they ask you what is there a better solution, you say yes. Be simple to us. And protect the flood plains. All the water that that God gives us, it's all goes into the sea. Because this, they have become shallow. 
and we have destroyed the flood plains. So we mustn't revive the flood plains and we must deepen the rivers. That's a much better way than uh, going for this. Diaspora, very important. Uh, how it is helping? GST, demonetization. Both have had some unintended good effects. Tax base bargain, tax collection bargain, 50% increase in the GST uh, uh, tax payers. GST tax payer is a 50% increase. So these are some of the advantages. And Congress UP Dubati Yogi, the market dividend is also a very important issue. We need one to create 1 million jobs a month. We are creating 1 million a year. Today, about 18 million youth are without jobs, which is a huge number. So this is the sad picture. So all the demographic division is threatening to turn into a disaster. So what is the way out? Create more jobs, number one, in the formal sector, number two, skill. Because many of our graduates and engineers, they are not unemployment, not unemployable because they don't have the skills. Even in IT industries, people are being thrown out because new skills are required. You know that story about IT? Mm -hmm. That it is losing jobs. So you need to re-skill and re-skill people and you need to create more jobs. Read also on artificial intelligence. And finally, please read something about India's budget. It's a very important document. It's only two page document, only download the highlights from the Read one, two, three, four. It will give you an idea of the developmental schemes, government, how much money it is giving, how much it's going to the rural sector, how much to the infrastructure, how much to the railways, what it says about brain drain, what it says about uh, East education sector and health sector. So that will be a good uh, source material for you. Okay. So good luck, you are doing very well. Is there anything else that I have to improve in the No, you will have a very pleasant personality, you can talk very nicely, there is nothing to worry. In fact, you are, I would treat you as very, very, you have a very strong chance of success. So you need, but don't slack in every person. And current affairs must also receive a priority, right? Visits of Prime Minister to foreign countries, what we achieved, Iranian president, what have we achieved in that visit. Mr. Trudeau is here. Yes. After two, three days, it will transpire what we have got out of Canadian Prime Minister's visit. Keep a very close watch on these developments. So, should I take this paper? Uh, no, sir. This? Yes. No, you get outside. Okay. You get a CD outside. Including your picture and what you are speaking. Okay. 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 Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.